Hey everybody, it's Dr. Lion78 here. Um, today we're going to be showing on how to convert from, from a binary to decimal and vice versa. So first we're going to be showing how to convert binary to decimal. So for example, you want to convert from from 9 to a binary number. If you convert decimal to binary into 8 digits, which is, which is in this table. So let me show you right now what the table looks like. It looks something like this, and we can, if, so this is, this is our eight digits, which is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. So here's another way to look at it, you can look at it also like this. Sorry, it looks a little sloppy. Okay, so it's 2, 7, to 7 power, 2 to 6 power, 2 to 5 power, all the way to 2 to 0 power, which is going to be 1, by the way. So you can also look at it that way, but that means you will have to do the math like that. The first and the second exponent. So yeah, this is your first exponent, it'll be 2 itself, 2 to the second power will also give you 4. So you would do it like that if you if you want it that way. Okay, so the numbers in this table are created by multiplying two each time. That's what basically what this is. So as we were saying, we, you want to convert nine to a binary number. So let's start with the table that I just showed, which is this one. And and in this case, uh, wait a minute. So this is our decimal number. We have nine which is base 10, which is decimal. So the way this will work is that we're going to be using, we're going to find out which one is our highest number, which is in this, uh, which in this case is 8, which is 9 minus 8 will be 1, so you have 1 left. So the ones you're going to be using like 8, you put a 1 there. The last one, it can be, or we have 1. The rest that you haven't used yet will be zeros. Then that's your your binary number. Okay, now let's show how to do how to convert it to decimal. And I'll just give you a different number. We'll do the same thing. We're going to be using the table. Now you fill now you put these digits in the respective slots. Now whatever has the ones in there, like these here, you add them up, which is eight, four, and one we have. Which in this case is you have thirteen, and that's your base number. That's your decimal number, is thirteen. Okay. Alternatively, you can also you can also convert um, this to a binary number by dividing by two. But I was but that's one way. Which remainder is your last digit? And you keep going until you can't divide it anymore. Sorry, it seems like it's all over the place. Then your remainder goes first, and then your product last. So that's also your binary number. It doesn't have to be eight digits sometimes. It can also be like two or four. Like as long as there's nothing left, 
because if you, if you keep extending your binary number, you will always increase it by adding zeros to the front. Okay, now we show that. Let me show you how, how to how to extend the table. Like, what if you don't have an eight digit? What if you have a nine digit or a ten digit? Like, for example, we have this. I just gave an easy one, like a nine digit, but you have an extra, you just have a one at the end. So since we only have up to 128, we'll just go, we'll just add time, we'll just multiply by two. In this case, your number is 256. And we're covering it to a decimal, by the way. So let's put in the respective slots. And that's your answer, it's 256. So that's basically how you extend it. You just you just do it like that. So that's all I that's all for this tutorial. So I hope you guys uh enjoyed and may God bless you all.